Welcome to America Trends. I'm your host, Mary Burt Godwin, coming to you from Loft 100 Studios in Carlsbad, California. It's raining again here in Southern California. Uh, ish, I mean, sprinkling, but still, where is our sun in sunny California? Anyway, I know that's kind of whiny since we're 70 degrees most of the time, but anyway, we're having a great month. It's Mental Health Awareness Month, and we are having guests on throughout the month to talk about ways to work with your employees if they're facing mental health issues, kids, all the different demographics and ways in which you can overcome issues that you're having um, and resources for you. So we've got a lot of great tips throughout this whole month coming to you. We've got a great show today, but first we have our trending topic of the day. Uh -oh. This is a good one. <laughs> it's always good though, right? Uh, Mr. Ed Sheeran. He is the redhead, British, good-looking crooner. Well, I think he's good-looking. That, that's up for debate, I think. But anyway, I think he's good-looking. And the man can sing. He is in the news for a couple different reasons. Number one, he won his court case. He was being sued by, I guess, the family or the estate of Marvin Gaye for supposedly having ripped off some chord progressions or something from Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On for his song, Thinking Out Loud, which is one of the best songs. They both are tremendous songs. Um, it's been in the court for some time now, and Ed Sheeran even took the stand to talk, you know, in fact, he sang on the stand, I think. Uh, and it came out that he has won the case and does not have to pay all the money or whatever the things he was gonna have to do. Um, you know, I'm not an expert in music. I love music. I know a lot of it sounds the same, but there's so many chord progressions and so many things you can do. He did not steal this. That's my take on it. He did not steal anything from Let's Get It On. He is a musician in his own right. If you know anything about Ed Sheeran, he's a true musician. Um, and that leads me to my next topic, which is, and it ties into mental health awareness because there's a docu-series about Ed Sheeran that just came out. Originally, um, it's called The Sum of It All, which is a great title because a lot of his albums his albums went in, I don't know the exact order, but it was a plus sign, a minus sign, a divided sign. He's got all the different math equation signs in his album covers. So this documentary, I think they started it out to be about him as a musician and maybe covering some of his tours, but what it turned into is really a discussion on grief and mental health because along his, in the last few years of his life, he's gone through some really major losses and grief and troublesome lifey things. So he lost one of his best friends, Jamal Edwards, who was a 31 year old music producer who died suddenly of a heart attack. Um, and that was one of his best friends. His wife also was diagnosed with cancer. Uh, I think she was pregnant with one of their children. Um, and he has come out to admit to saying, I was in major depression and grief and a lot of struggles. Um, also, he's overcome, he has a, had a stutter growing up and music is one of the ways he's overcome that. Uh, so this movie has turned into a, a topic about mental health awareness and um, really has gotten great reviews. I'm going to check it out. It's a docu-series, and we are going to show a clip of it right now and then be back with more America Trends right after this. Ginger hair. Really sure. He stutters. That guy doesn't become a pop star. <laughs> It's so unlikely. You just have to work harder because there's always going to be someone that wants it more than you. I do have CDs on sale and they do pay for my food. Club isn't the best place to find a lover, so the bar is where I go. You have to wait for one person to be like, that's great. And for me, it was Jamal. The man who helped launch the careers of music's biggest names. Self-belief. And then the successes started happening. First time doing an album signing. First time in America. First time selling out a show. The biggest tour of all time, selling nine million tickets. Everything in my life sort of got so much better when Sherry got into it. I've got married, and I'm a dad who has two daughters. We've reached our peak, and then it just went... <laughs> Sherry's health. It was really bad. And then suddenly, my best friend Jamal dies. <laughs> you guys said, do you want to make a documentary? And I went, yeah, and it should be me. 